The Trail of Seven Locks, a 60 mile walk starting and finishing at Inverness. Walking the Trail of Seven Locks. Got Loch Ness here on the right. And this is probably going to be the first lock of the Seven Locks, I'd imagine, unless it doesn't include Loch Ness. But heading for airtight woods and then we camp camp either on the side of Loch Ness at the spot that I found last year while doing the Loch Ness 360 trail or I'm going to camp by the change house I haven't quite decided yet Trail love seven locks. Well, that's me all pitched up at Loch Ness. Came off the main route just now, just to camp here by Loch Ness. It's um, dry at the moment. Hopefully, it's going to stay that way because some dudes left some wood here from his previous camp. So I'll get that burning later, hopefully. And I'm just going to have some teach just now, and then maybe have a wee tipple. See how that goes. Get some chins on. If it stays dry, I'll get the fire going. Just taking a little walk down to the actual shore of Loch Ness from my campsite. It's a bonny beach, as you can see. Still dry at the moment. Just been along the beach collecting some wood for the fire. There's like tons of driftwood lying about, and some guy left some wood at the top as well. So, plenty of wood for the fire. It's really just a matter of whether it stays dry or not. Got the, finally got the fire going. Plenty of wood to burn. Should keep me going for a couple of hours, I would imagine. Got a little drink here, some tunes, and the fire, obviously. So, cheers to that. Uh, a little hungover this morning, waking up by Loch Ness. It's quite a nice view to wake up to. But I've got up quite late, it's about half past ten, Jesus. Uh, I should have been away a while ago, because I've got 20 miles to cover today. But for breakfast, and I'll, I'll head off. Camping at Loch Ness. Well, that's me finally up. 
start of day two and I'm heading for well, I'm gonna head through the the fair here, the Lads Pass, which is a really steep hill. I've got to go over that hill and then cross some farmland and then after that I don't know where I'm going but it's going to be following the Trail of the Seven Locks and into the eerie woods above Loch Ness. Pretty sure these woods are haunted. the first part of the hill climbed. Still some more to go unfortunately. But we've got some nice views of Loch Ness here. That's the uh, Drum Madrocket across there and the castle. I forgot the name of the castle. Well that's me arrived at Loch Mahor on the Trail of the Seven Locks and I think I'll be pitching up pretty soon it's um, just after 7 o'clock been walking since 11 o'clock non-stop and I really need to give him these give these legs a rest I think Well, that's me finally set up for the night. Got pitched up by the side of the road. Many miles from anywhere. I uh, must have walked about 20 miles or something today. Walked for about 5 miles just trying to find somewhere to camp. But couldn't find anywhere. It's all sheep fields, farming. And... But I finally got somewhere. So I'm happy now. So I'll just get to have my food. Maybe have a hot chocolate and then nod off to sleep. Another long walk in the morning. I've reached Loch Duntelchig. This is Loch Duntelchig. It must be getting near the end now because I've passed, I must have passed about seven locks by now. One thing's for sure you'll never find a Nessie in the zoo. You'll 